Right here, we got a bender head. At the top, you see a number of kind of creases. Uh, they're a little weird and not necessarily desirable, but the main thing I want to focus on is the bottom right there. You can see that this is all messy and nasty. Normally with this kind of a thing, uh, if it was a printer that's been running continuously, you would potentially check the slicing settings to see if the model was somehow popped up in the air inside of the slicer that you're using, or if the model was defective to where it's spaced out from the bed inside of the slicer that you're using. But in this case, uh, we knew that the model was fine after we did that troubleshooting. This is the first layer going down too far away from the bed. So the bed is right here. The first layer of the nozzle should be running along right like that. And it obviously didn't. It fell onto the bed because these lines are really, really distinct and, of course, kind of fallen off the bottom of the bender head. In that case, you need to re-level your bed. Uh, your bed has fallen down low or the in-stop got switched uh, too soon, uh, something along those lines. Look at your Z-axis, make sure it's not jammed, those kind of errors. This thing up top, that kind of skipping uh, could be due uh, to the uh, filament or something jamming that's a little bit odd. If a machine has been used for a long period of time, the PDFE tube might be burning out, so you might want to replace that. Uh, but sometimes, actually, on upward curves like this, the motion of that line based on your slicing settings can create some issues. So um, this one was most likely from the lack of extrusion because it was a very large print. It was probably getting to the end of the spool and starting to hang or jam on like the little kink at the end of the spool. Um, so that was the cause of that. And the z-axis on the bottom was, uh, the, the bed level was not true. Um, normally you would catch this before the whole print had finished, but again, we're moving hundreds of machines and thousands of parts. We don't get to take a look at every one of them. That's the machine's job itself. And once the machine is true, it's fine. So that was probably a brand new machine also.